What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today on the channel I have the privilege of showing you all this. This is the Illuminati Dark Matter Orion guitar. This is from Illuminati Guitars, obviously, and not to be confused with some sort of underground society or anything, this guitar is pronounced Illuminati because the neck is made of aluminum and the body is made of lucite, which is kind of like this uh, see-through material, almost like the BC Rich and the other acrylic guitars, but it's not actually acrylic. And the very cool thing about this guitar is that there's no wood on the guitar, and believe it or not, there's actually no truss rod in the neck because the whole premise behind an aluminum neck is that it's never gonna move. Very, very cool, very boutique guitar, very bespoke guitar. But the thing is with this guitar is that I'm actually gonna be modding it, and I'm gonna be changing out the pickups. You might be wondering why, especially if you know the prices on these guitars, and these guitars are not the cheapest guitars on earth. So then it got me thinking, why do so many people just keep modding their guitars? especially if they're already expensive guitars, like maybe a USA Custom Shop, or a guitar that is maybe from a very experienced luthier from another part of the world. And it goes without saying that I own some USA-made guitars, and I own some upper echelon guitars as well, and I've changed the pickups on most of those as well. And a lot of people might be thinking, well, why are you changing the pickups? Shouldn't it be perfect from the factory? And we're gonna answer that question in a little bit later in this video. So without further ado, we're gonna throw this on the bench and we're gonna swap some pickups. Here we go. So now one thing I wanna make very clear is we are gonna be keeping the strings on this guitar for the duration of this test and everything like that that you're gonna hear later on. Um, so this may or may not apply to you. But the main thing down here is that there is an issue with actually removing this pick guard right here. So I think I'm gonna actually have to remove the neck. The pick guard keeps getting caught on the bottom lip of the fretboard right here. Um, it doesn't look like it wants to move back anymore. Even back here, it seems like it wants to get stuck. There's not a lot of room. Even when I actually loosened the strings off before filming this video, just to get an idea of what I have to work with here, it looks like I'm gonna have to take the neck off, which is actually a pretty easy thing. Now, if you have this guitar and you are changing the strings on it, you might not have to worry about that because you're obviously not gonna be having to deal with that and you can just take the pick guard off pretty easily. But I'm gonna show you how you take the neck off this guitar as well in case you run into this issue as well. And here we have the Illuminati Dark Matter Orion baritone guitar all finished up here. Looks pretty sweet, the brand new Fishman pickups are in. And let's go over a few specs on this thing. We have a lucite body, which is kind of like an acrylic material. Obviously you can see through it a little bit reminiscent of the acrylic guitars that were made in the 2000s, the 90s, and the 80s as well. Although it is a different material. We then have an aluminum neck as you would guess with the company, Illuminati, as we talked about earlier. Again, there is no wood on this guitar. It is a very cool guitar. 27 and a half inch baritone scale guitar. We have a brass nut up here. The brass nut is then bolted onto the neck through these two bolts right here. We got these Spurzel or Spurzel, however you want to pronounce it. Locking tuners up here. 24 stainless steel frets with dot inlays, as you can see here. We have the pick guard, a three-way toggle switch, and of course the Fishman Matt Hafey signature pickups, which you're then gonna hear in just a second. We have the proprietary bridge that is made from Illuminati guitars as well. We're gonna talk about that as well a little later in the video. And then obviously the coolest part of this guitar, in case you didn't know, it does light up, which is a very neat feature. You can then change the color of the LEDs from factory as well. This guitar, as you guys saw already, is a bolt-on construction, which is very cool. It makes taking the neck off the guitar very easy if you need to do anything with it, which you probably shouldn't because that is the whole point with this guitar. You're never going to have to adjust it, 
and specifically speaking, there is no truss rod on the guitar. And now with these Fishman pickups, they are obviously active pickups. The Fishman Fluence pickups are some of the most popular active pickups on the market right now. And obviously they need to be powered through a battery or a charge in some way, shape or form. So in this case, we have the battery located down here. It doesn't look the most pleasant, but it is the most functional place for the battery if you're going to put a battery or active pickups in this guitar. Otherwise, if you're gonna put a battery in the guitar, you would be then putting it under the pick guard. And as you all saw me have to take the neck off the guitar and then basically take the entire pick guard off to access the back cavity with the pickups. And the last thing that I wanted to do was put a battery under here just to make the wiring look a little bit prettier, but later down the road have to deal with a huge issue just to change the battery on the guitar. The back cavity here, very easy. There's six um, Allen wrench screws here. You take those off and then you can access the battery. It doesn't look the most prettiest down here, but it is the most functional. Now, maybe this is a little bit of a design feature to go forward with these Illuminati guitars. All the Illuminati guitars come with passive pickups, and I know a lot of players do like active pickups as well, especially in baritone guitars or for tuning low. So maybe that's an option that they will offer down the road, and maybe have a solution to where the battery is readily accessible and is actually hidden and not housed all the way down here. You don't want to put it down here because in order to get from one cavity to the other, you would have to drill through the body to run the wiring to then maybe house the battery here or something. And that would not be good. And I just don't really want to start drilling into a guitar, you know, when it's on my workbench like this, especially at the price point that these guitars sit at. I would rather have all of that stuff done right from the factory, in my opinion. Now, at this point in the video, we're gonna hear this guitar in a few different contexts. We're gonna compare the brand new Fishman Matt Hafey pickups to the original Lawler DB pickups that came in the guitar, both the neck and the bridge. You're then gonna hear the Lawler pickups in a bridge, middle, and neck configuration because they are just regular two conductor pickups, whereas the Fishman, you're gonna hear a few more different voicings because they have a few more different tones. We're gonna go through voice one, voice two, and the single coil option on all three different pickup positions on this guitar. Once again, this guitar is a baritone guitar and it is currently tuned into drop E, which is very, very low for a guitar. This guitar normally ships in standard B, so B to B as a normal six string guitar, and we are taking it even lower down to drop E. So this is kind of like bass guitar territory because it's what the guitar is set up for. And especially with a lot of us baritone players, we really like to tune down and really test the sonic limits of an instrument. Everything is gonna go straight into my interface to, through a couple neural DSP plugins, and that's gonna be the signal chain. No full demo mix because I really wanted to highlight the pickups on their own so then you could hear the pickups under a microscope and make the decision for yourself if you want to have passive or active pickups for your down-tuned baritone guitar. Without further ado, let's get right into the tones. Thank you. 
that was the Lawler DB versus the Fishman Matt Hafey signature pickups. Let me know in the comments below which ones you think suited a baritone guitar tuned all the way down to drop E the best. Was it the Lawler, the passive pickup, or was it the active Fishman Matt Hafey pickups? At the end of the day, both pickups have their own very unique characteristics. I really like the overall characteristics and the tone of the Lawlers. The Lawlers are a little bit lower in output, so it makes them a little bit clearer sounding, despite them being an Alnico magnet. The Fishmans, on the other hand, have that natural aggression and that natural modern sound that will probably get you to that modern clarity way quicker than an old school passive pickup. There's nothing wrong with either pickup, it's just different flavors for different people. It's almost like ice cream. There's just so many flavors and you're gonna like one flavor more than the other. There's gonna be players who like active pickups and there's gonna be people who like passive pickups strictly. I like both pickups personally, and I do like having tonal variety within my guitars. I do really want to highlight the versatility of the Fishman pickups. As you guys heard, there are so many different voicing combinations between Voice 1, which is the modern high output um, active pickup, Voice 2, which is modeling kind of like a passive pickup, and the single coil version. I think there's a lot of tonal variations that you can get from these pickups, which is pretty sweet, especially if you are going to be modding your guitar, and if you want your guitar to be a workhorse that has a few different sounds on tap ready to go opposed to using maybe one main sound just from a standard old school humbucker. And that's going to lead me to today's topic of this video of why people continuously mod their guitars even if they just buy these expensive guitars. This Illuminati guitar is an expensive guitar from the factory and I own a few guitars that were custom built and everything and that have proprietary pickups from the builder or from another brand. Now, the thing is with these guitar manufacturers, they're building guitars to cater to a wide audience of people, not a very specific scenario like we looked at here. Those companies are looking at many people as opposed to maybe one out of the hundred that are buying that guitar. So they wanna make a product that's going to sell and that's going to please a lot of people. Thankfully, pickups are very easy to change and not every guitar manufacturer is going to know what you want. As I've shown many times on the channel, pickups are pretty easy to remove and install and to change out. So a lot of it comes down to what is going to work for your situation. The owner of this guitar really wasn't jiving with the Lawler, so then we figured we'd throw in something a little bit more modern and it's something a little bit more aggressive sounding that fits their own playing styles. That's not saying one pickup is better than the other. That's not saying one pickup is worse. It all comes down to what you want at the end of the day out of your guitar. The guitar manufacturer doesn't know that, only you know that. So at the end of the day, it makes sense that a lot of us are still buying these expensive guitars and modding them to fit our very own specific unique needs, as opposed to leaving the guitar stock. And obviously, if you are a tone chaser like me, I do like chasing tone, I do like changing pickups and things like that. It's a fun rabbit hole to go down, especially if you have extra pickups lying around. So once again, this guitar comes shipped from the factory in B standard, so Maybe this pickup is gonna work for that tuning and maybe it's gonna work for a lot of other different styles of music, especially like in Doom, Sludge, or in traditional old school death metal. Those pickups might work for that. Whereas when you tune the guitar down to drop E or something like that, depending on what rig you're playing through, the Fishman pickups just might work better for that particular scenario as opposed to the old school passive pickups. Once again, no pickup is better than the other. It all depends on what works for you and what sounds best to your ears and your playing style. And that's gonna do it for today's video on the Illuminati Orion Dark Matter guitar, comparing the Fishman Matt Hafey pickups to the original Lawler DB pickups that came in the guitar. Let me know in the comments below which pickups you like more, if it was the Fishman Matt Hafey ones or if it was the Lawler DB pickup. If you like the Fishman so much and you want to learn more or even get your own set of the Fishman Matt Hafey pickups, you can use my Toman affiliate link which is down in the video description below and then you can go ahead and get yourself some of those pickups as well. If you like the video as well, consider giving it a thumbs up. It lets me know that I did a good job and you like the things that I make for you. And if this is your first time checking out this video, I have tons more videos on my channel with guitar setups and guitar repairs. Checking out very cool guitars like this Illuminati baritone right here and lots of other covers, Pantera and Dimebag specific videos because those are always fun to make as well. Thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you next time.